So today in this video, we'll see how we can install Kali Linux 2020.4 in our computer by using VirtualBox. Hello everyone, I'm Anir Ben Roy, an ethical hacker and a cybersecurity expert and I'm also Cisco Networking Certified. So guys, let's get started. If you don't know, then let me tell you, my previous channel got deleted by YouTube and that channel uh, got really great content like uh, about hacking phone, hacking Wi-Fi, tracking locations, tracking passwords and many, many, many stuffs. So make sure to subscribe this channel and follow me on all my social media accounts and also join my Discord account because I'm going to re-upload all those videos over here. So now without further talking, let's get into your computer and see how we can install it. Okay, so to install Kali Linux, first we need to download. So come to Google and uh, type here Kali, uh, Kali Linux download and uh, go to this first website, Kali.org. This is the official website of Kali Linux. And uh, if you uh, directly type the link, then you have to come to this download folder. And over here, you'll get all the ISO images of the Kali Linux like this. You can download any one like this is 64 version. This is light and uh, this is 32 version. You can download any one. If you have torrent, then you can click on this torrent and download the torrent file and download the file. Or you can click here to directly download the image from the browser. So I have already have this, so I'll not download. So I'll cancel this. Okay. Now the second thing we need is virtual box. So again, come to Google and search for virtual box download and uh, over your Okay, so this is the first website, uh, virtualbox.org. This is the official website. So just open it. And from here, you can select your operating system. Like if you're doing this in Windows, select this one. If you're doing in Mac OS, select this one. So just click on it and this will start downloading. I, will, I also have this, so I'll not download this. So, okay, now we are done here. So after downloading and installing this uh, virtual box, then we can open virtual box and it will get a dashboard like this okay so basically if you see over here i have lots of uh, machines and images over here so let's create a new one you will not have all these things because this is my personal machines and uh, from here just uh, select new and uh, here you can give any name for example uh, i'm giving kali linux 20.4 so okay now if now from here if you want you can change the machine directory folder or you can keep it as default now if you type here Linux uh, word then this will automatically select Linux option don't change it obviously this is Linux so now from here the version version uh, I'll recommend you uh, you can use this one as well okay but I'll recommend you to use the Debian because this is the Debian Linux and if you're using 64 bit image then say choose the 64 bit one and if you're using 32 bit image choose the 34 bit one I have 64 bit image so I'll click on this now from here just specify some RAM according to your machine and uh, over here select uh, this will be automatically selected create a new virtual desk and just create select create and this will just confirm all the information and uh, over here you need to give the size like uh, is the storage or hard disk I can say uh, how much how much size you want to give to, uh, to the machine space so I gave it like 15 GB it's more than enough so like let's create okay so we uh, successfully created the system over here but till now we haven't add the software over here so select test and then click on settings and a window will pop up like this now uh, best thing you come to advance over here and uh, from here click on this option like choose this option what this will do this will help you to copy paste all the files uh, from your host machine to your virtual machine and from virtual machine to your host machine like from windows machine to this one okay environment now uh, if you come to system select network because obviously we need network right so from here you can you can uncheck this floppy nobody used floppy nowadays okay our uh, disk block uh, so time you can if you want you can uncheck this doesn't matter actually it doesn't matter base memory you can select okay 
processor okay i'm keeping it as default uh, as it is if you want you can increase it video memory you can increase nothing is required over here now this is very important guys in storage here you will see uh it's written empty so just click over here and uh just uh go to this option and from here select the file so uh just choose choose the image Sorry. so from here choose the file so just uh it's in my download folder so just from here select it and to okay and uh everything is set okay in network setting uh, make sure this is enabled and this is enabled by default and uh and that is totally fine but uh, if you want to do penetration testing and other things and uh, and if you want your system to be connected with the, your local machine or host machines then you can select this bridge adapter like this is pretty good now uh, anything whatever you feel like uh, let, let's keep it as not whatever it is so okay so okay now it's everything is done right now okay so we'll select okay and everything is done okay now from here just select start and this will start the machine now we have we just uh, uh, loaded the computer system uh, gave the software and but now we have to install it and if this window pops up then you can just simply cross it uh, nothing will happen and uh, okay so our machine has started okay now from here just select graphical install now now over here select your language like i'm selecting english so let's continue from here you can select your country like i'm from india so select the country now from here uh, select the keyboard uh, specification you want like i'm selecting british english and uh, let's continue now this is detecting everything and installing all the medias and other things now this is mounting the image right now now this is actually uh, adding all the other additional dependencies over here okay so it's done right now now let's wait for it now network is detected you don't have to do anything this will do everything automatically now from here uh, choose a name for uh, the machine so let's keep kali or like let's get my name uh, i'm choosing my name you can keep it default doesn't matter now in domain name just keep it blank you don't need to specify anything now here the full name of the user so i'm providing my name now let's hit continue now here this is the username for the for that user we just provided the name i'll keep it as default if you want you can change now from here give the password again confirm the password hit enter and this will set up your clock according to your time zone now from here just uh, choose this first one uh, use entire desk obviously if you want to use entire desk now continue over here if you see these two options uh, choose the first one only like continue okay now just finish and uh, you get uh, right changes to disk yes you want to change this to disk and continue over here now this is going to install basic systems uh, basic request systems only now after that we have a, a long process to go okay so this is done and uh, now this is configuring all the app okay so this is a very long process guys so it need to uh, install the software so we have to select the software over here so let's wait for the options okay so over here you can select all the all this but this will take a hell lot of time so if you want you can just uh, uncheck anyone if you may like or something uh, but it's okay 
recommended tool it's default yeah obviously we want that so i'll continue now this is gonna take a lot of time like 20 minutes or 30 minutes depending on your pc and your internet speed so i'll just fast forward in and skip the part now the bootloader is installing okay so over here select yeah yes we need the bootloader install now this is the important step don't go uh, just click on it select this one okay select the second option and uh, then let's continue okay now the bootloader has installed now it's already done this was the final step guys now our option will pop up and we'll select continue that's it the installation will be finished okay if you see here the installation is finishing right now so the installation is completed now just continue and this will finish installing and this uh, system will just reboot then we can just successfully log in into our car Linux. so it's rebooting now okay so it's done now from here select enter the first option so here is our login now we'll type the username my username was Anirban and uh, the password which we gave and hit enter and we successfully logged in now to make it full size go to view and uh, click on full screen mode so if you see it's right now in full size and uh, we can do everything we want now the one more thing is there after installing Kali Linux uh, you should always do an update and update so this will update and upgrade all the uh, packages which are installed over here and to the latest version so just open your terminal over here just open a terminal and type uh, sudo app get update and then upgrade hit enter and it requires our password so give the password and hit enter and this will update and upgrade all the dependencies and everything so it's this easy to install Kali Linux in your computer as a virtual machine so that's it for this video guys subscribe for more videos like this